Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun Tutorial. This is the advanced route for level 3. Uh, the advanced route ends up very similar to the beginner route, but I will be showing the early tear glitch here. First of all, rush to get the pistol upgrade as well as the three keys. I wouldn't really worry about any damage you're taking at this point, since you do grab health right here on the jump to the third key. Oop. Oh, okay, well, that doesn't really matter. There's a lot of time uh, before the first tear spawns. Even with falling there, it's uh, it's easy to get back up here with plenty of time to spare. There's the tear. Oop. Okay, that was 112. Usually, I blow myself up on a barrel right here. If you already got that one, you can blow up any of these barrels. These barrels each only take one shot. And they will insta-kill you. In the beginner route, I recommended grabbing the invincibility to deal with Squid Face. You really don't need that. You also don't need the mortar. <clears throat> Once you're decent with the combat, it's not that hard to just mash blaster shots until it's dead. Uh, I do recommend doing that fight before grabbing this life. If you grab this life first, then Bob's... Killer Calamari and Squid Face dialogues can delay the second tear spawning. Which, uh... You know, when doing the early tear glitch, we do want to make sure the second tear spawns and is mended as soon as we can. And then after that, ideally, we want to jump up this little slope here to get into the next room. Depending on how quickly you died after mending the first tear, the third tear cutscene might start while you're trying this jump, making it more difficult, so just be aware that that cutscene might come at any time. This jump is relatively difficult, so be prepared to struggle on that a little bit as you're learning. And then just like that, we can go to the vid window and finish the level. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them below or ask in the Discord.